Okay. Looks like we are live. Yes, we are. Hey guys, welcome back to our episode five review of season eight of Game of Thrones. We are live, and this was one crazy episode. And with me, I've got uh, Andrew Cam. How's it going, Andrew? Um, not as great as it was at eight fifty-seven. <laughs> 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 and of course, we have Lou here. How's it going, Lou? I'm good, man. How are you doing? All right. Before we start this off, I'm looking at a bunch of people here in the chat, and um, a couple of people are disappointed, or at least uh, shocked. You know, Marlon Blank says 45 minutes of senseless killing. Um, Easy Mayor Zone says shock value. Danny, uh, Danny's one shot at the fleet in Golden Boys and mass killing of innocence. We get another big bad. Thank you for nothing. D and D. Um, all right, so let's let's jump in from that standpoint. But it looks like at least a few people are upset that at least one of their favorite characters has gone down the wayside. What do you think, Andrew? Because I know we talked about this just a little bit before we started. Please yeah. remind people where this comes from. Uh, what do you mean, where this comes from? I mean, the fact that Danny. Oh, that Danny's him. crazy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so people need to remember that the Targaryens—they're from Valeria. And when they, they left Valeria before the doom, which killed off the whole population. Uh, so there weren't that many people uh, in blood who wanted to do blood pure or something, which is common in ancient, I mean, uh, medieval history. You know, if you look at the royal family, pretty much anyone that's a king or queen in Europe for that's older, 50 years old, is related somehow. <laughs> and the Targaryens, it's true. Look it up. Like, there's like one lady who's like the grandmother of Europe. She's like all her grandkids married each other, basically. Oh boy, so incest all around the world. Yeah, pretty much. But the Targaryens, they took it to another level. They would marry brother and sister, not even cousins. So for generations, you've got brother marrying sister. And that's where Varys uh, early in the episode he says when uh when a Targaryen is born, the gods flip a coin because incest, you know, limits the mental capacity of someone. And when you've got inbreeding for generations, now you, there's a 50 50 chance this person is either going to be like the greatest ruler ever, like Aegon the Conqueror, who like uh -huh. started started the Targaryen house in Westeros, or they're going to be crazy, like Aerys the Mad King, who is Danny's father. Now, what do we have? Danny being crazy, Danny being the Mad Queen, and it's all coming full circle. And it's happening in a time when people thought Danny was the good guy, quote unquote. Turns out she's the Mad Queen, she's kind of the bad guy. Yeah, I mean, definitely that that path, I think, has been written from the get-go, but I think a lot of people thought that um, that wasn't the case. Um, Lou, what about you? How, how do you place those sentiments together, and what are your thoughts? Why? Why? I get, I get you know, the strong, but she took it too far. That's, I watched it, I'm like, my dude, she didn't have to go there. I mean, you heard the bells. Tyrion pleaded with you. Her men literally dropped their swords and surrendered. I mean, the Golden Company was fucking useless. Yeah, they were torched completely. <laughs> I mean, 20,000 strong. 20,000 went down the drain. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. oh, dude, this. You know, there's Mad a lot queen, of this, whoa, you know what? It just proved wait, 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 Cersei Warren, on a wasn't as crazy as we made her out to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do have a point though. You have a point. I mean, Cersei was tactical. I, and, yeah. and she she tried to show that off, but she didn't expect, and you could see she didn't expect that Daenerys is gonna just torch the whole place out. Yeah, I never thought Cersei was crazy. I thought she was ruthless and stupid. Uh, it turns out crazy is way worse, especially when you got a dragon to, to help you be crazy. Yeah. Well, and then we have Warren here. Warren, what's up, man? That's on. Uh, why is anyone surprised about the outcome of this? This was exactly what was going to happen. I'm like, yo, she's going to come from behind, burn them on their ass, and go right through them. And the second that that happens, that's all done. All she had to do was take out half of those arrows, and it was a done deal. There was one dragon. She didn't need three. She only needed one. They had no other answer for that. Once she took those things well, because, out. because just like done. you said, she took the sneak surprise attack and literally wipe out the ships, 
and then hit everybody from behind when they don't see it, and wow, you, you took the city like that. She didn't fucking need the soldiers. Who didn't see this shit coming? Like, it, it, people are surprised by that. Like, come on now. They they like like it was it was a done deal in this fight from the very beginning, and yeah. and Cersei decided to push a button, and and that button was uh, Masandi, and she decided to push that button, and that was the end of it. You mean Masunday? Yeah. You no, know, that nice little meme of an ice cream sundae on the floor. Okay, look, look, stop that, Luke. So I mean, I, I get it. Well, that's how I, she kind of.